Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up progressive nitrous. First, we're going to go down to map options. Then we're going to select progressive nitrous control one. Next, we'll scroll down to our inputs. And we're going to configure a progressive nitrous arm switch. Now we can scroll down to our outputs and configure our progressive nitrous one output. Then we can scroll back up to other functions and click on progressive nitrous. This is the main screen to set up progressive nitrous. We have three different ways that you can control it, RPM, speed, and time. Today we're gonna do time. Then we're gonna make sure that our external switch is selected. Our switch is activated by zero volts. The nitrous will turn on with our TPS above 90% and our PWM frequency is 25 Hertz. The output signal is going to be activated by zero volts. And now we can set up our main nitrous parameters. The first one is if you want to use nitrous on the two step, you'll program it here. We also have fuel enrichment and a timing retard for nitrous when it's used on the two step. Here, we're going to select our minimum and maximum RPMs. So we'll do 3200 RPM and 8200 RPM. Below that is the total time for return PWM control. This is if you pedal the car and your nitrous needs to ramp back in, it's gonna take a total of one second to go back to full duty cycle. And below that, the duty cycle for PWM return is where the duty cycle is gonna start from. On the right hand side here, we have our delays. This is where you can delay the application of fuel and delay the retarding of timing by just a split second to make sure that the nitrous and fuel hit the engine properly. Next, we're gonna to go to the RPM nitrous duty cycle table. This is where we get to program our nitrous ramp. So for this one, I'm gonna select this whole section from five seconds onward and make it 100%. Then I'm gonna click the first box and highlight it, click the I button for interpolate. Below that, we have the fuel table. This is where we get to add the fuel enrichment for the amount of nitrous we're spraying. So I'm gonna make 90% and 100% both 200 pounds per hour. Then I'm gonna highlight the whole entire row up to that point and click I for interpolate. Now we can actually start to develop a curve. So this middle part, I'm just gonna highlight it and I'm gonna hit the plus button until I get a little bump in the middle. And then I'll smooth the rest of it in here to make sure that I'm making a nice curve. Next, we get to play with our ignition timing. This is the ignition timing retard table. So we're gonna take out 15 degrees for this kit of nitrous, and then I'm gonna highlight this whole entire row, and I'll hit I for interpolate. This will give us a nice blended line from zero to minus 15 degrees over our nitrous duty cycle. Congratulations, guys. You've just done your first progressive nitrous ramp, and I'll see you on the racetrack.